Hi students. Okay. So now we have seen our theorem number one of three-dimensional geometry. In that we have proved that the line passing through one point and parallel to given vector. That means we have given the equation of line passing through one point and parallel to given vector in space. So we have used the equation of parallel lines and we have solved the theorem number one. So now we shall go for theorem number two. Clear? So for this theorem number two, what we have to derive? Let us see. What they are asking? Derive the equation of line passing through two given points, both in vector form and Cartesian form. So theorem one was line passing through one point. Theorem two is line passing through two points are you getting my terms clear okay first theorem was line passing through one point and parallel to given vector there you have to remember vector ap equal to lambda times of vector b for the theorem 1 okay so now to derive the theorem number 2 that is line passing through two points what we have to do let us See, okay. See the proof here. While solving the proof of theorems, the diagram is very important. If the diagram is wrong, then you can lose one to two marks. Clear? So that's why be very careful while drawing the diagrams of three-dimensional geometry. In this theorem, what they are telling? Line is take this line passing through point a and this is point b join o to a join o to b clear so now oa is position vector of point a ob is position vector of point b and join take one arbitrary point p and join o to p clear students so here a and b are two given terms a and b are two given points p is arbitrary point oa is position vector of point a oa is position vector of point a i will write it as vector a position vector of point a is taken as vector a next ob is taken as vector b position vector of point b is taken as vector b and next op vector position vector of arbitrary point where p is arbitrary point i will take it as vector op equal to vector r clear so now you have drawn the diagram of line passing through two points a and b you have chosen one arbitrary point p clear so now we shall solve this theorem now you have written what the terms are given here clear what the terms are given in theorem that you have written here using these terms you have to prove the theorem clear so for that please remember in the first theorem you should remember one term that is vector ab equal to sorry vector ap equal to lambda times of vector b this was the statement that you should remember for the theorem number 1 that is vector ap equal to lambda times of vector b but here there is a slight change see this was the point which you have to remember for the theorem number 1 that is line passing through one point and parallel to a given vector clear so for this in the second theorem there is a slight change in the place of b we should write it as vector ab clear students so this you must remember for theorem number 2 clear for the theorem number 1 here there was small vector b now you have you have to write 
capital A B vector clear if you remember this you can solve the complete theorem as you have solved in your first theorem clear on the same way here you have to go on solving the theorem clear how can you write AP vector you can write it as vector OP minus vector OA vector AP can be written as vector OP minus vector A next lambda times of AB vector can be written as vector OB minus vector OA clear vector AB is written as vector OB minus vector OA AP is written as OP minus OA clear now OP is what vector R OA is what vector A equal to lambda times of OB vector is what vector B minus OA vector is what vector A so you write all the terms as here so now how can you write these terms that is vector R equal to vector A plus lambda times of vector B minus vector A clear students so this is your vector form clear this is your vector form where OP is R OA is A OB is B clear vector R is position vector of point P vector A is position vector of point A vector B is position vector of point B so using all those terms you should write here that is vector R equal to vector A plus lambda times of vector B minus vector A so that will be your vector form clear students as you all studied in the first theorem after you after coming to the vector form using this vector form you have to write all the terms of vector form in Cartesian form so for that we shall write all the terms in Cartesian form clear okay so here we shall write all the terms in Cartesian form okay see vector R should be written in Cartesian form vector A should be written in Cartesian form vector B should be written in Cartesian form in Cartesian form in Cartesian form what is vector R vector r equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap next what is vector a in cartesian form what is vector a vector a is x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap clear because here a is position vector of point A. A is position vector of point A. In this point A is given. Here A can be written as vector OA also. Clear? Next. What is vector B? Vector B equal to x2 i cap plus y2 j cap plus z2 k cap. So this is equal to vector OB. Clear students? So this all terms we are writing it in Cartesian form clear we are writing all the terms in Cartesian form so while writing Cartesian form take R as xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap because R means position vector of point P where point P is what arbitrary point you take point A that is your given point A that is written as vector A vector B is the position vector of point B so by using all these terms in equation 1 see you take this as equation 1 or you can take this as equation 1 so for this we shall take this as equation 1 clear so this is vector form so now in equation 1 what we have OP minus OA OP means what? Your vector R. This is vector OP. Clear? 
OP minus OA using equation 1 using equation 1 what is OP minus OA OP is R OA is A OP minus OA means it will be X minus X1 I cap clear next Y minus Y1 J cap Y minus Y1 J cap plus Z minus Z1 K cap clear students so using your equation 1 OP minus OA you have to solve OP means vector R OA means vector A so vector R minus vector A X minus X1 I cap plus Y minus Y1 J cap plus Z minus Z1 K cap you got for LHS now let us look at RHS see what is RHS lambda times of OB minus OA so you write lambda as it is lambda as it is OB minus OA that means OB minus OA vector B minus vector A so therefore X2 minus x2 minus x1 i cap plus y2 minus y1 j cap plus z2 minus z1 k cap clear students so using your equation 1 your theorem will be x minus x1 i cap plus y minus y1 j cap plus z minus z1 k cap equal to lambda times of ob minus oa OB minus OA X2 minus X1 I cap plus Y2 minus Y1 J cap plus Z2 minus Z1 K cap will be your solution of equation 1 in Cartesian form. Clear? Okay. So now taking LHS equal to RHS LHS equal to RHS we can write this as See, LHS equal to RHS. If two vectors has to be equal, that means in LHS you have one vector. In RHS you have another vector. Here, LHS must be equal to RHS means you have to make two vectors are equal. We know that two vectors are equal if and only if their magnitude and their direction is same. So, the magnitude of I is what? The magnitude of I is here x minus x1 must be equal to what lambda times of x2 minus x1 clear next y minus y1 must be equal to what y minus y1 y minus y1 must be equal to lambda times of y2 minus y1 are you getting my point so x minus x1 must be equal to lambda times of x2 minus x1 y minus y1 must be equal to lambda times of y2 minus y1 on the same way z minus on the same way z minus okay i will write here on the same way z minus z1 must be equal to lambda times of z minus z1 must be equal to lambda times of z2 minus z1 clear see from this we can say that x minus x1 equal to lambda times of x2 minus x1 y minus y1 must be equal to lambda times of y2 minus y1 z minus z1 must be equal to lambda times of z2 minus z1 so solving these things what you are going to have you are going to have x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 equal to lambda on the same way y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 equal to lambda on the same way if you simplify this z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 equal to lambda clear so by solving these things see you have x minus x1 equal to lambda times of x2 minus x1 here y minus y1 equal to lambda times of y2 minus y1 here z minus z1 equal to lambda times of z2 minus z1 because if the vectors has to be equal the components of i 
j and k must be equal so therefore you will get this term if i simplify this you are going to have x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 must be equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 must be equal to z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 so this is the proof of cartesian form this is the proof of vector form clear so this is your cartesian form clear okay so if you want to solve this theorem first you remember vector ap equal to lambda times of vector ab is very very essential point because this complete theorem depends on this small statement if you remember this you can go on solving each and every step very easily because ap you know op minus oa ab you know ob minus oa already you have taken ob oa op right all those terms just a small simplification after coming to vector form using your vector form write all the terms in cartesian form after writing in cartesian form use equation 1 so take this equation 1 ob minus oa ob minus oa you write that ob minus oa means r minus a ob minus oa means b minus a so you are going to have x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 here you are going to have x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 you will get this equation lhs is equal to rhs so lhs must be equal to rhs if and only if the components are equal that means magnitudes of the components are equal this is i component this is j component this is k component clear so their magnitudes are equal if you simplify that x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 equal to lambda y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 equal to lambda z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 equal to lambda so these are the three terms so if these three terms are same that is equal to lambda then this implies so your final solution clear students so this is what your second theorem so for the second theorem this is very very important clear if this is remembering for you then this term is going to be very simple so please make sure that diagram will be correct whenever you are solving theorem number 2 so theorem 1 was line passing through one point theorem 2 is line passing through two points for theorem 1 vector ap equal to lambda times of vector b theorem 2 vector ap equal to lambda times of vector ab clear